Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I will be creating 4 cards using products from the latest release by my favorite things. And there is also a giveaway on my blog, so make sure to visit and leave me a comment, you will find the link down below in the description area if you are watching on YouTube. So let's start with the first card for today, I am starting by stamping this lovely swan, and this is a stamp set that's called Splendid Swans. This is a great stamp set if you want to create anniversary cards or wedding cards or even uh, cards for those uh, who are expecting a baby or just had one. Now I am going to create a lovely card today for a shower party and that's why I stamped uh, the mother swan and I will be stamping a tiny little swan as well, a baby swan. And what is great about this stamp set is that you can actually customize it. So you can uh, put on the lake your uh, mother swan and then um, you can uh, add as many babies as you like following her. And that would be such a cute card, especially for those who are expecting twins or triplets and so on. I did some coloring with my alcohol markers and I also used the matching dies to cut out all my images and this is where I cut out uh, the lake on this smaller panel. Now I'm using this piece of double sided tape directly on top of my card base making sure that I place it in such a way so that it is going to cover up the back of the lake. I'm going to peel it off and then I'm going to apply some Nouveau glitter which is a super fine glitter and it has a beautiful color. I do that a lot when I want to create um, lakes and uh, little scenes with water. I just love the effect that this glitter gives. In the stamp set there is a sentiment that says congratulations you too, but I have masked off the last two words since I just want to have the word congratulations. I'm going to stamp it on my panel. Now I have all my pieces ready to go and it's finally time to assemble my card. I have um, used foam squares at the back of my panel so it is a little bit raised and I'm going to place my swans inside the lake using again foam squares just to make sure that everything is nicely leveled. And this is where you can have the mother swan all the way at the front of the lake and add way more than one uh, little baby swans at uh, following her. Now in uh, my case I just nested this uh, little baby close to her. I also added the vines coming from the top and I'm going to finish off my card by adding some shine with my Nouveau Shimmer Pen. For my next card I'm working on a watercolor card and I'm applying some Distress Oxide Ting and that's actually Broken China with the new blending brushes by Tim Holtz. These brushes actually uh, help you create a lovely blended effect, it, they don't leave any marks, they give you a very subtle uh, look if you are using them the way I am at the moment. They are not available yet, they will be in about a month. And I'm lucky to have them since uh, Tim Holtz gave them to me while I was in creativation. So anyway, you can uh, achieve the same look with your blending uh, tools if you want to. So I have applied a little bit of uh, ink at the center of my watercolor card there. And I'm just adding some splashes of water, which I am going to dab with a clean cloth for that lovely droplet effect. And now I'm going to place the Wish die at the bottom of my panel and run it through my Big Shot. I have my main panel ready to go and now I will do some stamping with black archival ink on watercolor paper again. So I'm just deciding which elements I'm going to use and I'm using the stamp set which is called uh, Party Animals. It's a lovely stamp set for creating birthday cards and uh, I need lots of cute birthday cards because my kids use them all the time for their classmates. I stamped all my images on watercolor paper and now I will use my Nouveau Aqua Flow pens to add some color. Instead of coloring with uh, the Aqua Flow pens directly on my watercolor paper, 
I have added some of this color on my glass mat and now I am picking it up with my clear shimmer pen. This way I am controlling more how much of color I add on each of my images and at the same time I am adding uh, some shine. And I will try to catch the light for you at the end so you will see how shiny these images end up being. And here is a great example. You can see how by just using one color with my clear shimmer pen I get all this um, gradient of color so my balloon doesn't look flat and at the same time it's really really shiny so now it's time to assemble my card after cutting out all the images by using the matching dies i'm going to add the banners on the top right corner of my panel I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess. I decided not to use the whole banner just because it was too big and I didn't needed some more space for sticking all the rest of uh, the images that I have created. So my little cow there is flying with the hair balloon and I do have a little birthday cake that is um, going to stay on top of the letter H. Now I want to ink up a little bit my card base and just to make sure that everything is going to stay nice and uh, white on the borders I am uh, covering them with some post-it tape and I'm going to apply some ink that's Distress Oxide Ink Worn Lipstick and I'm going to apply some ink at the background which is going to stay just behind the letters Wish. And I also made sure that I had uh, that ombre effect where it's uh, more saturated at the bottom and it fades out at the top. I added some foam squares at the back of my panel and I'm going to stick that directly on top of my card base. And my card is finished. And let's move on to the third card for today. Now I'm using the stamp set which is called Birthday Cheeks. This is an adorable stamp set. I'm going to stamp some of the cheeks included in uh, the stamp set. So I just had to stamp some of them twice because I was uh, smudging things up here. Anyway, I am going to stamp everything with uh, archival ink on watercolor paper again. And then I will use the same method as I did on the previous card to color all my cheeks. So I will be using my Nouveau Aqua Flow markers. And I'm combining yellow with orange and the clear glitter pen. And when I finished coloring, I used the matching dies to cut out all my cheeks and they are ready to go. Now, I have used this die that has just been released that cuts out all those windows. And I'm not going to throw anything, I'm actually going to use both the frame as well as all the cutouts. So, uh, for the largest of those panels, I'm going to use it to stamp my sentiment. And the sentiment says, to the birthday chick. Now there are actually nine of those little uh, squares and I'm going to ink them up only at the bottom and again I'm going for that ombre look and uh, I'm using again the brushes by Tim Holtz and Distress Oxide Inks. The color I'm using are uh, Twisted Citron, Worn Lipstick and Broken China. And here they are all ready to go. I am going to add some uh, water splashes on all of them and then blot them with a clean cloth just because I always uh, love this um, effect that uh, those splashes leave on uh, the watercolor paper. So all these are ready to go. I have also created a watercolor card base which is a standard card and this is the watercolor that I am working with. It's actually cold pressed watercolor paper by Winslow and Newton. You will find a link down below. I definitely suggest this. It's really heavy and you can create lovely card bases, nice and sturdy. But at the same time you can uh, work on it with your uh, watercolor mediums. But you can work on top of it with uh, your Distress Oxide inks and your Distress inks with uh, perfect results on blending. And now it's time to assemble my card. I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base and I have added some foam tape at the back so it's slightly raised. And then on the inside of all those windows I'm going to use the cutouts. So I'm going to use some tape at the back and stick everything just inside. Everything fits perfectly obviously and uh, they just fall right in place. Also notice that all the colors are not exactly random. I am making sure that on each one of those rows of squares I do have one of each color. 
Now to embellish my card even more, I do have three of those cheeks ready to go. I'm going to stick them on three of those windows on my card, adding some foam squares at the back, which is going to level those cheeks with the frame. And to finish it off, I'm adding some uh, glitter drops in uh, the empty windows. And let's move on to the last card for today. I'm using the stamp set that's called Forever Friends. And uh, I'm using one of the sentiments included that says, A friend like you comes along once in nine lives. And I'm going to pair this sentiment with the paw print dies. And uh, I am choosing the tiniest of those paw prints. I'm going to place them on top of my card and cut it out multiple times. So I will end up having a panel with lots of tiny little windows in the shape of paw prints. From the same stamp set I'm going to stamp one of the kitties and I'm going to color her with my alcohol markers. And I'm also going to put this cut inside a basket that I'm going to cut out using these dies. I didn't do a lot of coloring on my cut since I wanted her to be white. Now I'm going to cover up another piece of uh, paper with uh, double sided tape and then I'm going to place on top my basket. This is going to ensure that the top area of my basket is going to have adhesive. I am doing that because once I cut everything out with my Big Shot, I want to use some glitter on top of uh, my basket. I created my card base out of pink cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to use some double sided tape and make sure that I cover up all those areas that you can see through those uh, little paw print windows. Now I'm going to remove the backing from my card base as well as from the basket and then I'm going to apply some fine glitter by Nuvo, just like I did with the first card. You can burnish the glitter with your finger or a bone folder and this is going to make sure that the glitter is nicely trapped on top of the adhesive and at the same time you will see that it shines even more. I used my tape runner at the back of uh, my panel and now I'm going to stick that directly on top of my card base. And if I did everything correctly you should be able to see the glitter shining through those po little windows. The die that cuts out this basket actually cuts also a slit, so you can use that to put your animals inside the basket. I'm also going to use some foam scores at the back and I'm going to stick that on top of my card. And the fourth card for today is ready. Don't forget that I will be back tomorrow with four more cards featuring even more products from the latest release by my favorite things. And let's take a quick look on all the four cards that I made for today. And I have to admit that I had so much fun creating all these cards and I just love them all. Don't forget that there is a giveaway on my blog, so make sure to visit and leave me a comment there. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.